Alandis Gary of the Lions will see him. He started here in Denver in his rookie year, took over for an injured Terrell Davis, and in 12 games ran for 1,159 yards and seven touchdowns. Went to Buffalo for one year and was picked up by the Lions prior to the start of this season. Orlandis Gary, who's in the game right now. And that, you know what? That, that's that's an outstanding move, getting this guy going, because he's been playing with a lot of emotion. And here he goes, running hard off tackle, gets a couple of yards, and the Denver defense continues to play strong. Ian Cole, number 52, the linebacker, made the tackle. You know, I, I would get this guy in. I think this is a great move, putting him in the game, because when players jump around or they feel like they're not wanted by another team and they get the opportunity to come back and play that team, you want to get them, I don't care if they're second team, you get them in the game early and get them involved because they want, they have something to prove. And their emotional level is up. It's a lot higher than everybody else. He has a lot of meaning here. Landis Gary is in the backfield down with Corey Schlesinger. And it's Gary carrying for a couple of yards up to the 37-yard line. Al Wilson, the middle linebacker, made the tackle. Well, Sam, they came back and then they ran the same play to the other side. This time they, they pull the guard Beverly. Watch, Beverly's going to pull, and you want to come and you want to hit it right up in there. So it's off tackle. It's not really an outside play. It's an inside play, and they want to hit it up the middle. See this? You get up inside right here, and that's that's where they wanted the last play to hit. But because it was blown up by the defensive lineman in the John Owens, the tight end, switches. So Landis Gary cutting it back, trying to get outside. And a nice run into Broncos territory by the former Bronco, Orlandis Gary, down to the 44-yard line. You know, that, that, that might have been an Orlandis Gary knowing a little bit more about the Denver Broncos than maybe the Detroit Lions do, because that play was supposed to go to the right. And he knows how fast this team is, and he figures if I get them over pursuing one way, I'm going to cut it all the way back. Now, if you remember the way he ran the football in Denver, that's how he used to run in Denver. Get him going one way, then cut the ball all the way back. That's what he did. First down to Charles Rogers, 33 yards. Orlandis Gary bounces off one man. The hit by Nick Ferguson, who's making his second NFL start at safety in his career. He's replacing the injured Kanoi Kennedy, who is inactive today. And he's got to come up and take on a very angry Orlandis Gary, or at least an Orlandis Gary that wants to let people know, hey, I'm still here, and I'm still pretty good. <laughs> he takes the blow there to Nick Ferguson. Short pickup on the play. Sean Bryson is in. Straight ahead on Landis Gary across midfield, just across midfield. They'll bring up a third and three for the Lions. Monsanto Pope, number 75. First down, Lions just short of the 40. Things have a way of working themselves out. Straight ahead, Orlandis Gary. Good haul and a good run. Slips a tackle. And another. Flag on the play as Gary is shoved out of bounds at the Broncos 38. Let's check. This is going to open a can of worms for. Holding number 84, offense. 10-yard penalty. Bill Schrader, the wide receiver, called for the hole. There it is. Oh. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sam. Held the Broncos 17 to 16. Lions from their own 32. Straight ahead, Orlando's Gary. Not much there. Maybe a yard. 